All quiet at the train yard, too. Welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within 2. I'm Burning Dog Face. And my lozenge wrapper says, Nothing you can't handle. Well, I'm not so sure about that, given what I have to deal with out here. Where's my guns? There they are. What? What the hell? Dang it, I thought I found an alternative that would put the gun back in the holster, but no, it just makes whatever gun you're holding disappear. That's really weird, you guys. How much ammo do I have, actually? Okay, not a lot, but it'll do. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh! I didn't even see him at first. I'm really glad I cleared this area out, because fuck that. Thought I saw another one. You know what? Let's just turn the fuck around and go away. And I hear one of those goddamn crazies with the knives. Someday, we're going to get a game engine where the grass uh, modeling system, I guess, is intelligent enough not to let it clip through the floors of things on top of it. Evidently, that day was not in 2017. It's strange. The ghost and the thing with the saw, those things horrify me. I just don't want anything to do with them. But those things with two ends and, like, four split-up heads? They scare the shit out of me. I think it's because I wasn't actually sure if I could harm them. Uh, oh. Huh, so that's what that feels like. For just a second there, I thought he found, like, an SMG. I'm kind of impressed he managed to stay up there as he died. I don't like that I don't know where you are. In there, right? Gotta be in there. Have I been in there? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I wasn't sure if it counted as transparent or not. Hell yes! Or it's caught off guard by how effective that was. How does it feel to be dead? <laughs> okay, I take it back. I'd really rather face one of those things than the... One of those things. You know what? I gotta know. It's 
not a great angle. If I snipe it, which fucking face do I aim at? It's got two of them on both ends. Oh, right. I gotta know. I gotta know if they can die. This is a bad choice. This is a terrible choice. I'd lose everything. No, oh, well, if you're gonna do that. Suck a dick. No, no, this one. Definitely this one. Praise the Lord, they can die. Interesting, they aren't actually symmetrical. This head isn't all split open like that. What? Oh, I like that, the distant wind noise. I'll just lift this guy's legs and give the zombies a treat. Except, wait, that's a terrible idea. Okay. Take a breather, Ashley. You have earned it. Man, I've barely gone anywhere. You know what? I'm just gonna save. I've actually gotten a lot of juice since the last time. How much juice exactly? Oh, enough for an upgrade, actually. here. Huh. Was that door there before? Y I don't know. Oh, I regret this decision immediately. What the hell is this? It's a chance to test your skills. Step right up and try your luck, detective. This is insane. You'd be insane to pass this up. Steady your hand and put your shooting skills to work. No need to worry about ammunition in here. Uh, okay. I wasn't sure if that was a uh, zombie or not. to go ahead and guess that the woman putting on the uh, thing is not the uh, an applicable target. You're the best around, detective. And nothing's ever going to keep me down. <laughs> I was going to make that reference. Rank credit to the force. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, it's just gone. Hey, actual tangible rewards. Well, it's nice that you exist out uh, here, too. 
I thought it was weird that you only existed inside the pocket universe of the chair. Anyone else have the song stuck in their heads now? Twenty, twenty points. I hope that's not a bad omen. Why am I going over there? Sorry, kitty. Apparently I'm a bad person. Hell yes, Harpoon Bolt. I believe I was going to get the stamina upgrade. Anyone else notice that it wasn't the same? But it wasn't the same handgun I was using. Yes, more stamina, please. More health with healing items, or health recovery speed increased and regenerating from near-death status. Or failing that, I could just increase the amount of health I recover from that. Actually, I think I'll start with that. Yeah, do that. That seems uh, more prudent to upgrade than uh, the other thing. How am I ever going to get these nails right if you keep interrupting my manicure? I don't remember her sounding so sarcastic in the first game. She was just kind of stoic. Why did I just save if I knew I was going to spend some juice? In fact... I didn't drink the coffee the last time I was here. O'Neill. Can't believe I didn't immediately notice the brain in that logo. Ooh, that is a lot of stamina. Oh! I forgot. Uh, yeah, this one, this one. Come on, come on. Time's a-wastin'. To the safe house! <laughs> Technically, there is a sign, I just don't think it's a very effective one. Oh. Forgot about that. Oh. Okay, so real talk. Uh, my first attempt, I managed to get the attention. Uh... Oh, I hate this. Of uh, all those zombies in front of that uh, neighborhood, And that didn't end well. I hate that I can't even see it. So this time I'm going to loop around the side since I know I blew up all those zombies by the uh, mass grave.
Oh! Hmm. Not what I would refer to as an ideal situation. Why are you bouncing? So did the zombies do this? Or did he kill himself because uh, it was the zombie apocalypse? Hmm. Not doing well on ammo, you guys. That is a very nice touch, incidentally. Part of the reason I'm always talking about, you know, oh, this enemy must be the... must smell terrible in these games, is because you never see video game characters acknowledge the sense of smell. The car is gone. The one that was upside down, or on its side, or something. It's just gone. Anyone else find that strange? No, just me? Okay. No, it's not a statue. There's just something vaguely oblong and gray in there. Can I travel amongst these rocks? No. That's just one of those gross textured rocks, I think. Oh, no, 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 you're a dead guy. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's where that is. The nice thing is I know the other guy isn't there because I'd be able to hear him wheezing from here. Probably should let Kidman know what's going on. Kidman, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What have you got for me? The good news is that I located O'Neill, and he was able to get me on the trail to find Lily. That's great. The bad news is that Union is literally falling apart around me, and it's mostly populated by corpses and monsters. Oh, and that psycho I told you about? The one with the powers he shouldn't have? He's got Lily. I'm getting ready to head into the Marrow, which you neglected to tell me about, to get to him. I'm sorry we didn't have time for a briefing before sending you in, but we didn't think it would be this bad. It's just as bad as Beacon in here. No, it's worse. My daughter wasn't stuck in Beacon. Okay, calm down. Maybe I can help you out. Can you give me any information on this person? Male, about five foot ten, black hair. He fancies himself as some sort of artist. That's not much to go on. Tell me something I don't know. I'm on my way to City Hall. 
I'll call you later. Oh, my God, I just noticed the blood on my shoulder. I think I'm actually showing an injury. Huh. Or maybe, the, like, the blood on the bandages, the blood on the shoulder, maybe it's like the Batman Arkham games, where, uh... You know, uh, as you progress through the game, Batman's suit picks up uh, aesthetic nicks and tears and such on it. And I made it, didn't I? I saved over slot three because, uh, well, I figured I had enough slots in chapter three, uh, anyway, before I moved on to chapter four. Is that a phone book? Ah, oh, don't hit Ellen here. That's Beacon. I wonder if they just recycled that texture from the first one. Look! There's an ad on that newspaper on the right side for brain energy drink that had machines in, uh, in the abandoned city in the first game. So I think that is a recycled texture. I remember it was a brain energy drink machine that you used to trigger the weird Easter egg in the uh, consequence where you get to see the, uh, the shade monster doing a rave. So this is the computer O'Neill was talking about. Let's try that password. O'Neill rules 7331. I'm in. What the hell are those? Is that what that building is? And why does it have a garage? Fuck yeah. You're not a door. That's embarrassing. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh! That's what that was. I thought, you know, this was an area of... You know, obviously, the city is broken up into different chunks. I thought it was going to be, you know, this one is the marrow. I didn't... I forgot that this was an option. I guess it didn't do anything the first time I tried it, because I hadn't been to the Marrow yet. Exit 18C... Wait. Oh, I do have a map here. Yeah, that's the, uh... What is it called? The other one. The Armory, I think. I don't know why there's a save point way down here. You're not Fuji, do. I think there was one in the first game where you could get three of those, and then a stick of dynamite fell out. Run! You know, that reminds me. I Just to be sure, I'm going to go check. Uh... 
Smoke Bolt. This Tarasso Bolt releases a cloud of smoke centered around its impact point. Upgrading Smoke Bolt to the workbench can give you the ability, to, the ability to sneak kill enemies trapped inside the area of effect. Smoke Bolts can be crafted by combining smoke powder and gunpowder. And I... Hmm, my timer isn't going. Okay, so the episode's over, but I do want to check the gas mask to make sure there isn't a button I have to push in order to trigger it. Chunk of steel pipe with some rust on the end. Not wor uh, wor worth much as a cudgel, besides, you've got guns. Gas mask, same description, no thing about a button. Okay! I'm just checking. While I'm here... Ambush? Oh, ambush, yeah, okay. Whoops. Beacon Mental Hospital, where it all began. The article written about the fire. Sorry, I sneezed. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play The Evil Within 2. When we continue exploring the marrow, and hopefully find our way to City Hall. Later.